Hey friends, in this video we will discuss about thyroid diseases. What is the thyroid? The thyroid is a gland. The thyroid gland is a small organ that is located in front of the neck wrapped around the windpipe that is trachea. It's shaped like a butterfly, smaller in the middle with two wide wings that extend around the side of your throat. You have glands throughout your body where they create and release substances that help your body to do a specific things. Now, what does thyroid do? Your thyroid has an important job to do within your body, releasing and controlling thyroid hormone that controls metabolism. Metabolism is a process where the food you take into your body is transformed into energy. This energy is used throughout your entire body to keep many of your body system working correctly. The thyroid controls your metabolism with a few specific hormones. 1. T4 also called as thyroxine. 2 is T3 also known as triiodothyronine. These two hormones are created by the thyroid and they tell the body cell how much energy to use. When your thyroid works properly, it will maintain the right amount of hormones to keep your metabolism working at right rate. As the hormones are used, the thyroid creates replacements. This is all supervised by something called pituitary gland. Located in the center of the skull, below your brain, the pituitary gland monitor and control the amount of thyroid hormones in your bloodstream. When pituitary gland senses a lack of thyroid hormone or a high level of hormone in your body, it will adjust the amount with its own hormone. This hormone is called as thyroid stimulating hormone. The thyroid stimulating hormone will be sent to thyroid and it will tell the thyroid what need to be done to get the body back to normal. What is thyroid diseases? Your thyroid typically makes hormone that keep your body function normal. When thyroid makes too much of thyroid hormone, your body uses energy too quickly. This is called hyperthyroidism. Using energy too quickly will do more than make you tired. It, may, it can make your heart beat faster, causes you to lose weight without trying and even make you feel nervous. On other hand, if your thyroid can make too little thyroid hormone, this is called hypothyroidism. When you have too little thyroid hormone in your body, it can make you feel tired, you might gain weight and you may even be unable to tolerate cold temperature. These two main disorders can be caused by a variety of conditions. They can also be passed down through families. Thyroid diseases can affect anyone, men, women, infant, teenagers and the elderly. It can be present at birth, typically hypothyroidism, and it can develop as you age, often after menopause in women. You may be at higher risk of developing a thyroid condition if you have a family history of thyroid disease have a medical condition such as pernicious anemia, type 1 diabetes, adrenal insufficiency, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, Jogren syndrome and Turner syndrome, or taking a medication that is high in iodine or older than 60 especially in women, or have a treatment for past thyroid condition or cancer. Hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can also be caused by other diseases. Conditions that cause hypothyroidism include thyroiditis. This condition is an inflammation of the thyroid gland. Thyroiditis can lower the amount of hormone your thyroid produces. Other is Hashimoto thyroiditis. A painless disease, Hashimoto thyroiditis is an autoimmune condition where the body cells attack and damage the thyroid. This is an inherited condition. Next is postpartum thyroiditis. This condition occurs in 5 to 9 percent of women after childbirth. It is usually a temporary condition. Next is iodine deficiency. Iodine is used by the thyroid to produce hormone and iodine deficiency is an issue that affects several million people around the world. Another is 
are non-functioning thyroid gland. Sometimes the thyroid gland doesn't work correctly from birth. This affects about 1 in 4,000 newborns. If left untreated, the child could have both physical and mental issues in the future. All new newborns are given a screening blood test in the hospital to check their thyroid function. Conditions that can cause hyperthyroidism include Graves' disease. In this condition, the entire thyroid gland might be overactive and produce too much hormone. This problem is also called diffuse toxic goiter or enlarged thyroid gland. 2. Nodule Hyperthyroidism can be caused by nodules that are overactive within the thyroid. A single nodule is called toxic autonomously functioning thyroid nodule, while a gland with several nodules is called a toxic multinodular goiter. Next is thyroiditis. This disorder can be either painful or not felt at all. In thyroiditis, the thyroid release hormones that were stored there. This can last for a few weeks or months. Next is excessive iodine. When you have too much iodine, the mineral that is used to make thyroid hormone in your body, the thyroid makes more thyroid hormone that it needs. Excessive iodine can be found in some medications. Next is diabetes. If you have diabetes, you are at higher risk of developing a thyroid disease than people without diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disorder. If you already have one autoimmune disorder, you are more likely to develop another one. For people with type 2 diabetes, the risk is lower but still there. If you have type 2 diabetes, you are more likely to develop a thyroid disease later in life. Now, what are the symptoms of overactive thyroid or hyperthyroidism? It includes experience anxiety, irritability and nervousness, having trouble sleeping, losing weight, have an enlarged thyroid gland or a goiter, having muscle weakness and tremors, experiencing irregular menstrual periods or having your menstrual cycle stop, feeling sensitive to heat or having vision problem or eye irritation. Symptoms of underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism include feeling tired or fatigue, gaining weight, experiencing forgetfulness, having frequent and heavy menstrual periods, having dry and coarse hair, having a hoarse voice, experiencing an intolerance to cold temperature. If you have a very severe cases of hypothyroidism that has not been diagnosed or treated, your risk of developing low serum sodium goes up. This could lead to seizure. So this is all about causes and symptoms of hyperthyroidism and hypothyroidism. For diagnosis and treatment of thyroid diseases, please like, share and subscribe my channel.